look like a big blue submarine, but in reality, this can be a lifesaver. A multi-place hyperbaric chamber. It's used primarily to accelerate wound healing by supersaturating the body with pure oxygen, but it can also be used in emergency rescues. There's different types of configuration. Carbon monoxide poisoning is basically about two and a half hours. Lee Memorial Health System is one of only a handful in the state still offering emergency hyperbaric services. On the cusp of hurricane season, more attention is being paid to improper use of generators. Generators are a lot like lawnmowers. They both use gasoline and give off carbon monoxide. Outside, they're perfectly fine, but used indoors, there's a potential for disaster. But they do not realize the, uh, the effect of carbon monoxide poisoning because um, they said it's, you know, the silent killer. You don't smell it or nothing like that. Rescue crews are well acquainted with the dangers. After Hurricane Charlie, the hyperbaric unit treated a record number of poisonings. Um, we had a lot of carbon monoxide poisoning. Um, a lot of people put generators under soffits, and therefore the carbon monoxide rose under the soffits and into the house. We treated over 35 people in two days. The multi-place can treat several people at once, a feature that proved life-saving. Like during Hurricane Charlie, we had families of six and seven. While it's difficult to predict the path of a hurricane, it's good to know some place is always ready for the storm. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.